Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iOS Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, a few apps for your summer vacation photos. I am going to track my breathing. I'm very tense right now. I just want to let you know. Yes. That's what it's saying. My pebble is here. And Taylor Swift puns coming up. All that and more on iOS Today. iOS Today is brought to you by Sundance Now Doc Club. The new streaming service for everyone who loves documentaries. Discover unforgettable films like Jiro Dreams of Sushi. To get a free 30-day trial, go to docclub.com slash iOS today. That's docclub.com slash iOS today. And by Gazelle, the fast and simple way to sell your used gadgets. Find out what your used iPhone, iPad, or other Apple product is worth at gazelle.com. And by Squarespace. Squarespace is the best way to create a beautiful website or online store. Start your trial before June 30th to get a free year of custom email and business tools on either the professional or business plan. Plus, enter the offer code iOS today and you'll get 10% off. Squarespace, build it beautiful. Oh, we really divided that one up. It's an equal partnership. Equal partnership, here, yeah. Really. Hello, Megan Hello, Maroney. Hello, Leo Laporte. It's time for iOS Today, and as you know, in four days, I'll be sailing off into the sunset down the beautiful Rhine River, waving goodbye from the deck as Twit recedes in the distance. <laughs> Who are you going to have do the show next month? Uh, I am going to have Georgia Dow do the show oh, next Oh, she's Monday. great. I yes, love her. Yes, Georgia Dow and Renee Ritchie is going to fill in while you're gone also. Fantastic. Yes, I'm very excited to have them on the show. We will miss you. Oh, no, you won't. And you're going to be very happy. They're great. I, they are great. You're great, too. And this is like the time we get to talk. I mean, you're yeah. a very busy man. So, yeah. you know, I, I like this time together, and I'm going to miss it. So I'm going to bring two phones. I'm going to bring an Android device, and I'm going to bring, of course, my iPhone. And the only reason I bring two phones is because I'm not sure what frequencies and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, both will have T-Mobile SIMs because when you travel, T-Mobile gives you free international texting, low-cost international calling, and very, very, very slow international data as part of the deal. So I'm going to do that. But I also actually I'm going to have T-Mobile in one phone, and this is going to be this is AT&T because I also bought the AT&T. They, they've changed how it works now. You press a button and you get it for a month, and it doesn't automatically renew. But they have a travel bundle. I bought the 800 megabytes tra travel bundle, which was like $80. But I'm hoping that'll be enough data for three weeks, because I'm going to be gone almost three weeks. So my goal, though, is to take a lot of pictures. I'm bringing a camera. I'm, uh, both phones have excellent cameras. And to somehow share my travel log with friends, family, and even you. Even me? Even oh, good. You. So I won't miss you too much. And I'll share, I'll share what we're doing here, too. And we've talked a little bit about the different plans, different apps. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the assignment that I've been giving our audience for the last few weeks is help me come up with a perfect solution for sharing, keeping track of my photos. And have they? Uh, I think so. So I'm bringing the, the little light MacBook with me, the, the gold MacBook. It's beautiful. Uh, of course, you had to, I had to buy the connectors for the SD cards and all that stuff. Uh, that's going to have Lightroom in it. But I think the real solution, we looked at Sway, remember, from mm -hmm. Microsoft. Did, a lot yeah. of people recommended mm -hmm. that. And I may still use that. I've talked a little bit about Storehouse, which lets you uh, make beautiful um, stories about mm -hmm. your travels and so forth. And I may end up, I may end up doing uh, Storehouse as well because it gives you such a... It, but that's the kind of thing you might want to do when you, when you get home. Right. Um, I mean, it, it, this is a really lovely app. Sway, too, has some of those those features. But I was really looking for something I could do on the road. And you know what? After going through a dozen different apps, we talked a little bit about day one, the daily diary okay. that you could put uh, photos into there. You are, yep. That was my diary entry from your first day doing oh. my bag pad today, way back in April. Remember April? No. Seems like a, just a distant memory. It does. <laughs> but Back that's what's that, great. Those the, old the, chairs. The, that's my that's my thing is I want to have a, a memory of all of this. Yes. It's so weird. What I've ended up doing is I think I'm going to go uh, with Google Photos. So uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, Google Photos will automatically take the photos that I take on my iPhone and Android phone, upload them to Google Photos, and they'll be available on my iPad. 
It will also, uh, and this is really cool because I use a Sony camera. I can use the Sony Play Memories app on my iPhone or my Android device. Let me just uh, launch that over here. Play Memories Mobile. And it will actually, this is so cool, it will actually take the, I can connect to the camera. The camera has a Wi-Fi adapter in it. I can connect to the camera not using any internet bandwidth. That's another issue, right, of course. Yes. Uh, and I can copy all my photos. That's what I've done here. These are photos I took on my Sony camera that were automatically copied uh, over to my phone and then automatically uploaded to Google Photos. So that's, so step one is really to have a good backup of my photos. Google right. Photos gives me unlimited 16 megapixel or less uh, uh, backups. That's fine for me. Um, I can share those photos with friends and family. There's a picture of Trey Ratcliffe. We had dinner with him on, uh, oh. on Saturday night. And then, they, of course, the other thing they do is they have this great collections feature, which will take automatically take pictures and make a photo album of it. Remember when we had so much fun in San Francisco riding our Segways? I do remember And it that. made a map. I think this, for my travels, this is kind of what I want. With the maps, yeah. It's always the thing that's closest to home. That's and, the answer. Uh, isn't that funny? And then uh, the other advantage uh, now because of the new Google Photos is you can edit this, you can add music, and if I look, if you look carefully at the share button, you can now not just share it to Google+, Plus, but I could put it on Facebook, I could put it on Twitter. I can even get a link to it and email it to family and friends. And that's, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I've, I've, it was in front of me all along. All along. The new Google Photos app, which we do recommend, um, is going to solve, I think, most of what I want. It's going to be a backup of my photos. I'll still have it on my laptop and my camera and my phones. Uh, it's going to collect photos from all the different cameras I have. I, in, in effect, because of the two phones and a camera, I have three cameras with me. Mm -hmm. And it's going to allow me, uh, without a lot of effort, it's kind of automatedly going to allow me to share those photos as I travel without using a lot of bandwidth. So all in all, I think this, this is going to be a great solution. The ship has Wi-Fi. There's Wi-Fi access spots as you go ashore in coffee shops and so forth. I'm sorry, am I stepping on you? <laughs> That's sorry okay. about that. You're and, stepping all over And me. once I get to Wi-Fi, I'll probably do that big uploading. You know, I'll turn yeah. off data. And by the way, that's a really important thing to know. Um, the, the thing that costs you money when you travel, for the most part, most of the time people aren't making a lot of international phone calls. Of course, those can really add up. But the real problem is international data. So when you, when you do travel, and I'm going to do this, and it's off right now, you can see it's a little bit bright. I'm sorry about that. Let me, let, me, uh, let me turn the screen down a little bit so you can see this. Is to turn off data roaming. That's the thing that will really get you in trouble. And you can see it's off right now. When you turn that off, it says turn off data roaming when traveling to avoid charges when web browsing using email and other data services. Remember, your iPhone and your iPad, if your iPad has 4G, will automatically go out, check email, to use the internet like crazy without your knowledge. And we know people have had to come back with thousands of dollars in data charges. So I bought a data package, but I'm also going to turn off data roaming into, you know, unless I absolutely have to use it. And I'm going to use Wi-Fi uh, wherever I can. And, I think that's going to be the perfect solution. So you'll that's see in the, over the next three weeks, if you see pictures and stuff from me, yeah. then you know it's working. Excellent. If you hear screams coming out of Germany, then you'll know it's not. Okay, working. so what happens if you guys meet some people that you've never met before and you guys take a lot of pictures together and you want to share them, but maybe those people don't want you to share them with your wider network, which, as you know, you have a pretty large network. I wish there were a way to I do wish, that. well, there is, if you use Facebook. Yes, now, okay, I new, do. This is a new app, it's called Facebook Moments. Okay, Moments. And uh, I am showing it right here on my phone here. And I don't have it yet, so, so I only download this. What it does is you have to give Facebook access to your camera roll okay. and I've done that and um, so what it did so you didn't you must have gotten an email from me because I saw I already shared these pictures with you <laughs> so, oh now you got see I was playing dumb all right yes you know what was happening I was watching uh, Game of Thrones and then you kept getting emails or something from me. like that and I got and I got this uh, bunch of emails and things like Megan moments stuff and then I finally got the last one to say, hey, just, I'm sorry about that, but I was showing this on i5. Right. Well, so here's what, <laughs> here's what happens. It goes through your photos, your camera roll, and finds people that it recognizes. So it uses facial recognition just as... And that's a little controversial, isn't it? Yes. Uh, it uses facial recognition. It searches your photos, so it finds this one like that I shared with you. This yeah. is Brian Burnett. And uh, it probably did, it did recognize Brian, not from the back, but from the front. Um, and it suggests people to share the photos with. So I shared these uh, with Jerry. Because it recognized here. him. It recognized so wouldn't him. wouldn't you like, in fact, I did the same thing to Trey Ratcliffe with those dinner photos. 
I just pressed one button and the photos were shared. Right. That's awesome. So it finds Facebook friends that you've already shared photos with, so it knows it has what they call right. your face print. And then it suggests, so here's some new suggestions. I spent uh, the weekend with some friends, and it suggests that it already knew that these were my friends and wow. that they're in these pictures. And then I could share it with them without sharing it with the world. Of course, I'm sharing it with the world now. Right. But um, so, yeah, I just like, well, I'm going to share all those. I sync, and then it's just automatically synced to those friends. But, but you got an email that said Megan wants to share Facebook moments. And I didn't you. have moments. Right. So this so is I'm not stalling. built into Facebook. It's a sp separate app. Separate, and which is might... actually good, except that Facebook seems to take up more and more of my apps. Right. <laughs> I've got Instagram. I've got Facebook. I've got Messenger. Now I've got moments. Right. But then you wouldn't, I don't know if you'd want everything part of Facebook, too. So I did send this, some photos to friends who were like, I didn't want to download that app. I don't want to give Facebook access to my camera roll. Right. And so I get that. Um, I think this would be interesting. Anytime you ever feel like you don't want to post a picture on Facebook, like if you've been to a wedding or like I was with these four families, I don't necessarily want to share with the world all these pictures, but I do want to share the photos and I want them to share their photos with me. I didn't take pictures of everything. Some of them took pictures that I didn't take. So, well, imagine going to a wedding yes. and just saying, hey, if you took pictures of the bride or groom, share them on Facebook moments. In fact, Facebook will say, moments will say, oh, I see Nadia Elgin. Right. We just were at her wedding a few months ago. Well, would you like to share those pictures with her? Right. And you just, it's one button. Yes. So, so I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, uh, would it do that with strangers? If they're on Facebook, it would know them? I th I am not sure. I or think that it knows friends? that I've shared. It knows so my friends. It, but I think. see, it showed me immediately some pictures of my daughter's friends and suggested that I right. share it with their parents. Well, look what it just did because I just installed it as as you mentioned. I have it on my Android device, by the way. It's an and Crust platform, and it's recognized Lisa, and apparently thinks that Lisa's cat is Lisa. Right, just like it recognizes my uh, daughter's friends' parents as the you know because you probably shared those pictures with Lisa. Oh, that's it. So it says, oh, I know that cat. Yeah, it doesn't that's think Samantha. that that cat is Lisa. It ah. just thinks you would like to also share. Pictures but look how with easy Lisa. this is. If it's I want, easy. it says sync to Lisa, and all I have to do is check it, and it's going to explain to me what happens. I got it. Yeah, and now, boom. Right. Look, here's some pictures of. Uh, John, I think that's, uh, I don't know who John is. I think they're mistaking, uh, that's Bob Heil. Well, what, what, who, who's John, I wonder? Well, anyway, John's going to get these pictures. <laughs> so that's a good point. Look at the pictures. Make sure yeah. they actually have correctly identified them. <laughs> it's John that's behind you right now. You think it's you, John? <laughs> I guess John might be in this. Did you get, did you get pictures? It might be, I, it know might be, I don't know, John. That, it just says John. It doesn't give the last name. Mine yeah. didn't give the last name either. That is interesting. John is not very descriptive. Oh, more pictures for Lisa. Going to send that along. Hey, look, I got a picture or two of you. Would you like those? Yeah, of course. Sync it knew, it recognized me. Yeah. Now, it says sync these photos. Uh, I wonder if it's going to share this photo with... Well, you can choose the, to the, the changing of the guards at Buckingham Palace. Well, you can. I don't know who to, they're going to go choose. to. Press These are the pictures arrow. of London. Press the arrow there to see who choose you want to send to. Oh, and then oh, I see. So it could be a moment didn't recognize any faces in the moment in right. this case, but I could then say no. Yeah, I'm gonna, I should share those with Lisa because it she is was John. with me. Look, it was John. It was John Slanina. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Well, this is going through a lot of stuff. I should sync these. These are pictures of Michael. Let's. Uh, Oh, the phone oh. just rebooted. Oh. <laughs> Too much thinking and sharing. Uh, I think this is an way, interesting app. I, I, that's a, I just should mention this does happen from time to time on iOS 8. It's called a respring. Oh. The phone itself is not rebooting, just the user interface. And now it's uh, back. Boy, respring. It, it's resprung. Resprung. And it's still happening even it with all like the It sounds like the rumspringer, like the thing where the, you know. The rumspringer? The rumspringer. Anyway, that's, that's moments. I, you know what? This is for the trip. This is great. This yeah. is going to be, as I... You know, we sit down, we meet new people, um, we'll make friends with them on right. Facebook because you have to have Facebook, they have to be your Facebook yes. friends. And then uh, I'll just, yeah. I think so, because let me see, are these all my Facebook, actually no, you know what? These are... Um, your Google contacts? I think this is my whole contact list. Huh. Or are these my Facebook, you know, I can't... You can't tell. These I days everybody's tell. your friend, Leo. Okay, so uh, this is you not know what, these available. Are, these, this is my Facebook friends. You have a lot of Facebook friends. I have hundreds because... I'm a friendly guy. <laughs> uh, so this is not available in Europe right now. Oh, um, well, that's where have, I'm going to be. Well, the app is not available to people in Europe to but download. But could I use it in I Europe? I think you could use it. Sure, why not? As a European, here's why. 
because Europe has different facial recognition technology laws than yes. we do. Yes, it's a privacy and, violation. And uh, Facebook does have what they call your face print. Yeah. And uh, See, I, I don't think know. this is convenient. I understand people's privacy concerns. I'm glad that we don't have a law against it in the U.S. because I think that's convenient. And you know what it might be? Maybe it won't work on German telecom networks, but if I come home, I can just do it then. Yeah, and I might be naive, but I don't care if someone knows. If I'm lost and you need to find me, I want you to have my face print. I want you to be able to search all those databases and find my picture. I think I'm this idea kidnapped. is the first Facebook app. They've done so many, like Poke, that I just didn't want. Uh, what was that one that we were playing with for four seconds? Oh, yeah. It was um, terrible. It was, yeah, with the GIFs. Yeah, but, animated yeah. GIFs. So this is better. I yeah. think this is good. I'm so, gonna, yeah, I'm the gonna drawback is you're Moments. sort of, you have to, like, you know, it is kind of nice social engineering. Like, I've gotten you to download it by saying, because you can't look at the photos unless and you And you have it. to be a Facebook user. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So Smart. there's some, some photos. Smart. All right, so we're going to have some devices that we're going to talk about. We're going to answer questions. We are going to also uh, talk about some news. we got to talk news. about Taylor. So do Big you want to talk about one of our new sponsors? i got a new sponsor that I'm really excited about. Uh, do you like documentaries? I do. I love I them. I love them. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking about They actually asked me to write a paragraph uh, about why I love documentaries, and I, I think it's because we're all kind of a little bit voyeuristic. Mm -hmm. So um, I ca do you, no, tell me if this isn't true. When you're walking at night and you know and the lights are on in the house and you, you ever kind of like look in the window to see what's going on if they haven't drawn the curtains? Oh, you mean in someone else's house? Yeah. No. You don't ever do that? Do you turn your head so you don't see? <laughs> Uh, no, you're right. I do. Of course I do you do. do. That. I know. I, my, the self I was projecting to the world, I wanted to believe I didn't do we that. We all but do. It's true. I and, do. I'm not snooping. I'm not going to walk up to the window and peer in, but you can't help but look. Oh, like they're watching TV. Oh, they're making dinner. Oh, isn't that cute? So that's why we like documentaries. We want to see into the lives of others. It helps us know that we're not weird that, and, and kind of be inspired by people. I mean, it's wonderful. Doc Club collects some fabulous documentaries. It's a new streaming service for everybody who loves documentaries. And I've got a free 30-day trial for you. Ooh. It's Doc Club, D-O-C-C-L-U-B dot com slash I-O-S today. Real people, extraordinary situations. And I've put some uh, links in there uh, to some of my favorite uh, documentaries. There's a collection. I don't know if they've put it up yet. I hope they have. I'm looking at Dan Savage's favorites. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, Leo Laporte's picks right there. Beloved, they say I'm beloved. The oh. beloved host of This Week in Tech, Leo Laporte takes a break from Tech Talk. So I picked some of my favorites. You said you've seen Hoop Dreams. I have, yeah. Love, Love that. Here, show my uh, show my screen if you would. There's a lot of good recommendations there. Um, so you've not had, you've not seen. I've heard of it, but I haven't. You've got I've to never... see uh, Jiro Dreams of Sushi. The, he is a three-star Michelin chef who makes sushi in a Tokyo subway station, oh. in the Ginza subway station. He's only got about 10 seats in this place. And the, and, and the meal starts, I think it was, was it 30,000 yen? It's very expensive, oh. but it will make you. And there's a, see, a sequence in it where they go through the entire uh, tasting menu in slow motion. My suggestion, have some sushi to eat while you're there. Okay. Um, wordplay, do you like crosswords? You do. I do, yeah. It's all about Will Shorts, who's the crossword. Oh, I might have seen You've that. You've got to see yes. this if you haven't seen it. Huge Deep fan. Water. This is one I discovered on uh, Doc Club that I really like. It's kind of crazy. Re I don't know if you remember um, Francis Chichester. Who, who could forget? <laughs> who, who was the first Besides person me. to circumnavigate the world solo in a sailboat. Wow. And uh, that inspired a lot of Brits. So the... Uh, the British newspaper, uh, the Times, I think it was, decided to have a competition to uh, a race around the world, 1968, around the world solo yacht race. But this guy, Donald Crowhurst, was a weekend sailor, had not a lot of experience, decided to sail around the world. It is quite a story. He faked it. Basically, oh. he skipped South America. But anyway, it's a, <laughs> I no get, spoilers. As a Sundance Doc Club member, you get exclusive benefits, free movie tickets, access to film festivals, award shows, and more. Uh, you can get my picks uh, if you go to docclub.com slash iOS today. You can watch these on your iPad. You can watch them on your computer. You can watch them on your television set because they've got Roku support. They've got Chromecast support. I really like it. For Twint audience members, there he is, Donald Crowhurst. Sundance Now Doc Club is offering you a free 30-day trial, so there's no excuse not to try it. Look at the picks from other people, too. Some great picks. Uh, try it out today. Doc Club, if you like documentaries, 
docclub.com slash iOS today. I'm really excited about this new sponsor. I'm and excited I, too, yeah. yeah. It was an amazing. Well, see my picks. I, I think every, I, I, there were many more I could have picked, but those, those five movies just to me were just w what makes documentaries so great. Yeah. And then not one of them do you have to look in somebody's window to watch. Oh, good. You, good. Can, you can watch them right on your iPad. Right. <laughs> and right. better than watching reality shows, too. Well, that's, I think, why we like reality, but this yeah. is real reality. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. over traumatized, right. yes. highly edited. But reality. reality with a story. <laughs> right. With right. A, yeah. Right. All right. So the, we got some news. Our good friend T Swizzle been in the news this week. Man, I feel so out of it because uh, yesterday we talked about this uh, with Tom Merritt, mm -hmm. and he was doing all these Taylor Swift puns. Right. And they went because I don't. I, I like her music. Mm -hmm. I've listened to it, but I don't know her well enough. Mm -hmm. So you may remember Taylor Swift uh, back a few months uh, decided not to be on Spotify with her new album, Old 1989, new album. when mm -hmm. it came out, because Spotify said, uh, she said, I don't want to be on the free tier. I want to get paid for my album. I work hard on it. Spotify said, no, if you're on Spotify at all, you have to be on both the free and paid tier. So she said, I'm not on Spotify. She didn't pull it from others. Uh, well, on Sunday, she wrote a note on her Tumble log. If, you know, which in which she was I think we have the now the link she there. was very complimentary to Apple and I think that we I think there's a lesson to be learned here but she said I love you Apple but this idea that you're gonna give away three months of Apple music and not pay the artists is bad not for me she says I make plenty of money I don't need it I, but it is really bad for somebody this will be their first hit and three months of royalties would be equivalent of wiping out most of their income from that hit. Uh, if it, so if you're a producer or a new artist, this could really kill you. And so she said, you, we don't, now, this was a little weird. We don't ask you for free iPhones, so don't ask us for free music. Now, the weird thing is I don't think Taylor Swift, Swift has ever paid for an iPhone. Right. I know that was my same question. Like, I would, you know, and she probably got offered an Apple Watch, too. I still applaud what she's doing, but that I, I had that moment where I thought, well, she didn't have to ask one, but they would be happy to give her one. But I get what she's saying, especially if you're a new musician and you spent a lot of money making your music, like you were yeah. counting on the money to pay that back. You're in debt. And I get it. And, you know, they're, they're not going to have the free tier, like you said, like you're going to have to pay. But for the first three months, three months, that was the thing. And they came out. Free on, on iOS, on Apple, and on uh, Windows. Not on Android. They're not going to do that. So. Da, da, da. We did it on Twit. We talked about it. And uh, the consensus, we had a great Twit. Tom Merritt was there uh, doing all the T-Swizzle jokes. <laughs> uh, ben Thompson from Stratechery uh, was there. Uh, and we talked. Uh, uh, who else Who else was on the show? I know I've, I'm blanking. But we talked about this. And, and at the time, uh, I think we had the same reaction as you. Yeah, she's got a good point. Um, boy, literally five minutes after Twit ended, Apple re re recanted. Yeah. Eddie Q tweeted and said, okay, it's, we're going to pay you. Right. We heard you, Taylor. We heard you, T-Swizzle. We're going for it. I think that is more complicated than we imagined. That's right. the tweet. Yeah. Um, remember that Apple made this deal not with T-Swizzle, but with T-Swizzle's record company. Right. And it was, and this is the problem I have with these artists who go to these streaming services and say, we're not getting paid. Talk to your record company. That's why you're not getting paid. Those albums, those labels rather, made the deal with Apple that it would be free. In fact, there were a number of independent labels, including, as you mentioned, Adele's label, who said, we're not going to do that. We're not, we want to get paid. Right. But Taylor Swift's album uh, or, or uh, uh, label, she has her own label, but it's on a bigger company. They did agree. A lot of companies agreed, right. made a deal with Apple because they felt like it was in their interest or, I don't know, I don't. record labels are not notorious for uh, protecting their artists, but if you have a complaint, I don't think Apple is the person you should be worried mm -hmm. about. It's your record company that's ripping you off blind. But most of these artists now are going to the streaming companies like Pandora and Spotify with their hands out and saying, you know, the label's not, pa you know, Spotify's paid $3 billion to mm -hmm. the labels. The artists say, we want our share. Well, talk to your label. You made that crappy record deal. So I feel like it's the labels that are really the problem here. And ultimately, and this is why it's important, it's the labels that are going to put Apple Music and Spotify out of business because ultimately they control it. Remember, Apple had to give the labels more than the usual cut, 71% in the U.S., I think 73% in Europe, to get these deals. Uh, and part of that deal was, I'm sure, three months free. So Who's paying now? Now that they backed Good Apple. Good question. Apple, Apple didn't paying? say they have $175 billion in cash. I guess they could do they, it. I think they're paying for it. I think that's what I read. 
And are they going to pay the artists directly? I don't know. They're probably just going to give it to the record companies. They'll say, thank you very much, Apple. We didn't yeah. expect that. Well, that's nice of you. Hi, Taylor. How you doing? Good to see you. I think it that is. This, is, um, this is much more complicated. And as, as people who love music, and this is the, really the most important thing, we want, we want artists to get paid. Mm -hmm. We want them to make music. We want Taylor to make money on her album. Mm -hmm. um, the real problem here is not Apple. It's not Taylor. It's the record label in between Apple and Taylor. Right. The record label in between you and me and our favorite artists. Get these record labels out of the mix, and this will all work out so much better. But it's so complicated because they're aiming. I mean, the reason Apple did this was for the fans of Taylor Swift, and those are the people. Apple that, was like, put in an impossible situation. Right, but I mean, they want. They don't want to. You don't want to make the twelve-year-old girls angry. You do uh, not. You want them to be no. your customers, and that's what they're aiming for. And the whole argument you made, which is valid and interesting, is too complicated it is. for the people that. It is, but are, it's not too complicated for our audience because you're smart. Right. But I, I wanted to make this point. And yeah. No, I think it's yeah. It's not Ed, too complicated for our audience. Eddie but Q for a lot said, of, "I've been on the phone all afternoon with Taylor Swift and her people." I think Eddie uh, immediately and Apple immediately when they saw this went, "Oh, we've got a real PR." Our problem. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to cost us a billion dollars. We can afford it. Right. Let's the give Swifties. them the money for the, the Swifties. Swifties. You never want because there was no. It was a no-win situation for Apple at this point. Yeah. But let's really talk about the real problem here. And it right. isn't Apple. It's not the artists. It's the record companies. Right. And yeah, explain that to any Swifty you know. Yeah. Do your the Swifties you know a favor and explain what's really going. Well, on. you know, it's interesting. The artists who are in control of their fate often are not making deals with record companies. Mm -hmm. Madonna's big deal is with a. Uh, with Live Nation, it's with the the tour company, and she's making albums for them, and she's doing concerts for them, and getting paid a lot of money. That makes more sense, right. frankly. These record labels are terrible; they're right. notoriously terrible. Mm -hmm. As Dr. Morg Morbius yeah. says in the chat room, "Angry twelve-year-old girls will rip your face off." <laughs> <laughs> but 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 really, I want to know, and I don't think anybody's really said who gets the money, how how much money, how is that going to be divvied up? Is it just going to be business as usual? Okay. We'll treat those first three months as we're going to treat the next three months. We'll give the record label 71%. If that's the case, plenty of artists are not going to get any money. Mm -hmm. All right, so another uh, big news story, iOS news story, Apple Watch 2 rumors were announced. Have you heard those? Yeah. There's going to be a FaceTime camera, allegedly, in the watch. Never going to happen. It's never going to happen? Yeah, this is Mark Gurman, who's very well connected, 9 yeah. to 5 Mac, and I give him credit. I runs counter to what I my thought. I have no inside knowledge. Mm -hmm. My thought is that Apple was not going to get on a yearly update schedule for this. That they were going to hold on to this watch and make it better in software for at least two years. And I still believe that. So you may read this rumor, Apple Watch 2. Uh, maybe that's all true. Will it be in the fall or the spring? I don't think so. Yeah. I think we're talking 2016 announcement, 2017 availability. Uh, but I but I could be wrong. I just feel like that. First of all, do you really want a camera on your watch? Yeah, I mean that's a battery yeah, killer. It, yes, it makes it bigger and heavier. A thousand dollars plus. Aren't we paying enough for this thing already? Right. Uh, well, that was the other rumor that they're aiming towards the people that want to pay, pay between a thousand and, and ten thousand dollars. I think this that's is the bogus. That they think. I think this is bogus. Yeah. I really I feel like Apple's uh, got a long way to go with the existing watch. Just by making apps available directly on the watch is going to be a huge improvement. Yes. That's that. There's going to be a year of growth there. Mm -hmm. I I'm going to go on record, and I'm often wrong, so I don't mind going on record that there will not be a new Apple Watch you could put on your wrist for two years. Spring of 2017. First. Spring of 2017. And I think Apple would be smart to do that. Let the watch grow, let it mature, let it get better. The hardware is fine. Right. It's the, yeah, the software that needs Nobody's to. demanding a camera. No. No one is. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm talking to you on, what? I'm talking to you on my watch. My watch, Mom. Do you do that? No. I have, I have had phone calls. You've had phone calls. Yes, on watch. yeah, and I do do that. And I, they can I always hear you. say, I'm talking to you on my watch. It's just, I don't know if it's really useful. You kind of have to hold your arm up. You actually, you do, apparently you don't. You can just do this. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Uh, okay, one more piece of news before we get to your questions. Uh, Swarm brings back mayorship, <laughs> and I am not a Swarm user, so you are going to have to explain this. You, you don't use, did you use Foursquare? I uh, never did use Foursquare. Oh. There's some things that just missed me. I was I, in hibernation, I think. I love Foursquare, and the idea of Foursquare in the early days was it gamified your travels. Mm -hmm. So when you would go to a restaurant or you'd come to Twit. Yeah, you can check in you here. you check in, and the people who had the most check-ins would become the mayor. 
So that was the game. And as you had more check-ins, you get badges. That was part of the game, too. And it was a lot of fun. And what Foursquare did as a result of so many people playing it is they collected a lot of information. And they, tur and they kind of did a little pivot. That was about a year ago where they split the check-in app off of Foursquare, and they made Foursquare more like Yelp. Like, these are all the reviews. But, and they took away mayorships, mm -hmm. and they took away badges. And that was a very bad idea. And by the way, and I think it was Ben Thompson of Stratechery who observed this, the user graph went like that through the roof. So everybody stopped using Foursquare. Mm -hmm. Through the um, basement. Yeah, because, you know, that's, the, that's the basement. Yeah. <laughs> went through the, yeah, you went, you're right. It didn't go up, it went down, it went through the basement. Thank yeah. you for that correction. <laughs> wow. That's what um, I'm here for. So here's Swarm. I think. This is not a uh, an iPad app, but I like to show it on the iPad because you can see it better. Um, you can see uh, if I wanted to check in, I Those press the little the check in here. button, and it says, "What are you up to?" And I'm doing, no, you know, doing. Oh, the heck with it! Dominated the first half. <laughs> And I'm going to put in, they, by the way, they've now got little stickers. Oh, I love I can, the stickers. What, should I do an underpants sticker? Sure, why not? Or sushi, since we had some sushi conversations in the uh, first half. Isn't that sushi? Sushi. Isn't that sushi? Let's check in. And then, now I've checked, oh, and look, I've traveled 379 miles since my last Whoa. check in, because I was in L.A. over the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says, and this, this is, is the Yelp part, and that's an ad for Panera Bread, which doesn't happen to actually be here in uh, Petaluma, but that's okay. There is one over by the Target Center. Oh, see, I've yeah. learned something already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I've been wanting Thank to you. tell you that. Thank you, Swarm. <laughs> um, I can see uh, friend requests. I can see notifications of uh, people who are saying things about my check-ins. Right, they're glad to know they're yep. near you. I can see the badges I have won and the mayorships I have. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. I'm going to lose. Now, this is good news. They say it's bad news that they've lost the old mayorships, but I lost the mayorship of our studios a long time ago to people who were more careful about checking I in. I do remember listening to you talk about Foursquare. You were the mayor of everything for a while, weren't you? Yeah. Like Everywhere in Petaluma, yeah. I was the mayor. Yeah. I was the mayor of Machu Picchu for a while. <laughs> I was in, in Peru because I checked in three times and that was enough. So I'm the mayor of my house. That's good. Uh, but darn that Patrick. Patrick Telehandy is the mayor of a brick house Studios. <laughs> so I need to check in some more. He has 21 check-ins in the last 30 days. Obviously, mm -hmm. he never gave up. I only have four check-ins. Right. So let's get some more crowns. What do you say? Where was he going those other nine days? Not to work? <laughs> Not to work, apparently. <laughs> Uh, these are some of the uh, fun uh, stickers or collectible stickers I've unlocked. Oh. Don't know how I got the underpants sticker. Don't want to know. Um, you, and, uh, you got the gym rat sticker. That's good. I did. And that, these are kind of related, I think, to the old badges. You can also, and this is the thing I really like, see who's nearby. Mm -hmm. So, Anthony. I, I, yeah, Anthony's there. Russell's at the Petaluma Market right now. Here's where people who are a little farther away. Josh checked in last at home. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> Right? I know that Sarah's at, 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 at in San Francisco. And here's people who are even farther away. For some reason, Kevin Marks decided to use a dead fish as his check-in. Mm. I love this. It was a fun game. It didn't have any impact. It was just fun to play. And unfortunately, Foursquare said, you know, we should take all this data and do something. with. Maybe it was the plan all along. Uh, but they killed, they really killed it by doing that. But so, now the mayorships are back. Mayorships are back. I can see all my pictures. I've taken 1,102 pictures on Foursquare. Uh, all the people I know, I can see the map of my uh, of my check-ins all over the world. 17 countries I've checked in. Uh, I mean, this is fun, don't you think? Mm -hmm. These are all my travels. Uh, I'm going to add a few check-ins over here. I think I'll be swarming while I'm uh, on vacation. What do you think? You should. Then we can know exactly where you are. Swarm is back, and it has no value at all. Fun. But it's fun. Fun. I did get mad because I used to, I was the mayor of my gym. And then one of the employees started checking oh, in, and she no. beeped the pants off of me. So now I'm going to go back to that gym. All right. Well, we are, chance. like I promised, we're going to talk about some products, but uh, first we're going to answer some emails. I'm ready to do that, but do we want to do an ad before we do the emails? Sure. Why not? It's up to you. You know, this is a good ad for anybody who has gadgets, and I think that's all of you, and wants to uh, move up to the new one when the new iPad comes out, the new iPhone comes out. You want to get a new one, but don't just take that old one and throw it in the drawer. That would take like taking $100 bills and just putting them in the drawer and let them gather dust. That gadget is worth money, and you can find out exactly how much money by going to gazelle.com. Gazelle will give you a locked-in 30-day quote. That means you have 30 days to take advantage of it. It will not go down. 
even though I can almost promise you that the value of your device is going down every minute. Uh, you can get cash. You can get a PayPal credit if you want it right away. You can also get an Amazon gift card. They'll bump that up by 5%. So it's a great place to sell your old stuff. It's also a great place to buy new stuff because they take the very best of the best and they sell it in their certified pre-owned program. Two qualities of devices in the, the pre-owned program. Certified like new, that's basically somebody who bought something, never used it, said, oh, I better give it, I don't want, I'm not going to use this, sold it to Gazelle. Now they can sell it to you for a much better price than brand new, but it's as good as new. Mm -hmm. They also have certified good. Those are, you know, those have been used. They have some, some gentle signs of wear, but you're going to save even more. And the best part is Gazelle puts every device it sells through their 30-point rigorous inspection. So they are fully functional. They're great. You also have 30 days risk-free to return it. So there's no risk to you. You're going to save a lot of money. And replace, you know, if you break your you know, phone or your kids lose their phones, this is a great way to get a replacement for a lot less. G-A-Z-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Remember, when you want to buy or sell, remember Gazelle. Gazelle.com. And we thank them for their longtime support of uh, what was iPad today is now iOS today. All right, so some questions. Yes. Uh, Robert writes, I love the changes you made to iPad today, now iOS today. Do you like our new rainbow bridge connecting mm -hmm, our minds? Mm -hmm. Yep, works both ways sometimes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's the ceiling. That's the floor. Yes. Got it. Yes, yes. Uh, so... Uh, where, what, where was I? Where's You're connect reading an my email. Brain? Yes. See that one right there. He love especially the loves the products. And, oh, good. Uh, he yeah, because we're doing more than just iPads. We're doing iPhones, iPads. We're doing Apple Watches. Right, and we're last doing, week we did some Father's Day gifts. I have a gadget I'm going to show you. Yes, yep. I have some. And he says, uh, my fiancé got me an Apple Watch for Father's Day. I'm a machine operator in an auto plant. I wear an iPad Nano with a watch band. Have you heard of that? Yeah. But now he doesn't. I think to. that's what inspired the Apple Watch. Remember, a lot of it was a Kickstarter project. People bought bands. They put their Nano in mm -hmm. there. And then Apple, like shortly thereafter, discontinued it. The Square Nano. Yeah. And we all thought that means they're going to do a watch. Yeah. And we were right. Mm -hmm. So he is uh, looking for a cover, an Apple Watch cover, especially when he's traveling. Have you seen anything like this? I haven't. Have you? I, know, I haven't seen anything like a cover. You mean that he could like put it on it now? Like a rubber thing that's because clear? Because he works in a machine plant. Yeah, so no filings or anything would scratch them. Yeah. Have you ever been worried about getting yours scratched? or? No, but that's actually a okay. great Well, here, I do idea. have a tip. Um, this is uh, Serenity Caldwell from iMore did this. Because she, you know, she does the um, roller derby. Yeah. She gets hit and falls uh, down. She wears her watch and she roller derby? She wears her Apple watch because she wants to, that's the first watch Activities. she's been able to wear. Like, yeah. and get the activity. She takes a, a sweat sock and, and puts it, like, around there just to... Or a, a little, sweat band. A sweat band or, or a sock. It looked like a sock, but now that you say that, it I probably was a sweat band. I think it's probably. I prefer to think it was a sock. <laughs> okay, if it was whatever you got. But just that's what she just wears that around there. But then just she can't sock. tell what time it is. Good point. You need glass. Well, I would think to be uh, like a, a clear plastic mm -hmm. sheath. Someone should create that. I have not seen that. Uh, but I did, uh, I had my own problems because I brought, I went on vacation this weekend and I brought my Apple Watch. Oh, yeah? What do you, what did you do with yours? You just threw it on the bedside table with your charger and called it a day? <sighs> when I went to L.A.? Yeah. Uh, no, I wore my Android Wear, but I'm going to wear my Apple Watch in Europe. Okay. Well, I have a stand that I've shown and I got my dad's stand, stand for Father's How's Day. How's that working out? Uh, it's Does great. I love like it. That? And I brought it with me to travel. But there were some, um, I have a little, so you're in there, Zach, so you can show this. Um, there's a few cases that I saw, or you can show the link there. From go ahead, show it on your, your screen there, Zach. Because <laughs> you're in there. There you go. Yeah, so there's that stand. Oh, is the that's stand wooden. that I uh, got my dad for Father's Day. Oh, that's um, not the one you showed us. You showed us a, a metal one. I have the Spigen, one. yeah, the metal one, but I thought the wood I one looks nice. Like and if you scroll this. up, there's some more cases, and I have to admit that when I first read this, this is what I thought he meant. I didn't really Dodo realize. case makes great... Uh, See that one? It fits oh, the phone, the and the charges, is, yeah, but it's laying on the charger oh, underneath there. I like um, and that. if you scroll up, there's a case that closes up that has the yeah. watch, and that's what um, That's what Dodo thought, Cases made cases like that for iPads for, and phones and for a long time. But for the, wa the watch, goes on the watch goes under, there's that circle. Now, well, there's one thing I would say to you yes. to keep in mind. Remember, at WWDC, Apple showed the next version of WatchOS, which will be up uh, probably in the fall. And it's going to look different. Uh, no, it's going to have a nightstand mode. So I would, if you're going to get a case, uh, get something that will let the watch kind of sit on its side 
like that, w- w- uh, looking at you in bed. Because what it's going to have is it's oh, going to have a, 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 mine a go, nightstand Yeah, mode. mine doesn't do that. Oh, so doesn't it's doesn't going... now, but it will with the next OS. Yeah. So just something to keep in I mind. Mean, if you're yeah. going to get a stand for your Apple Watch, get one that will hold it. And there are some like that. that will hold it kind of like that or tilt it a little bit. <sighs> If you think that that nightstand mode is going to be, I mean, it could be, it could be like a, a clock. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what I use it as a clock. I just press it. So you mean nightstand mode? It'll stay on all yeah, night. Yeah, because it's, like it's a attached clock. to the charger. It's going to have a, a dimming feature. Yeah. And it's going to show the clock sideways. Right. Instead of you know normally up right upright. Uh, for nighttime. That's view. genius. Because that's the thing that is hard, not being able to look at my watch in the middle right. of the night. Right. Right. Because I've always slept with my watch. So, yeah, and I can't now. So if you have an idea for a case for our metal worker, you mm-hmm. can email us. Besides the sock. iOS today at twit.tv. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, besides the sock. Or you can go to our uh, subreddit, which is... Oh, I like that. What's that? It's uh, reddit.r slash iOS today. Excellent. Slash, yes. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Shopify has something... Uh, what What is that link in the chat room from Night Train? Uh, it looks like an Apple Watch uh, case of some oh. kind. So uh, can Zach? Can, I can't click that here. Can you click that? Are you in the chat room, Zach? Lots of armor uh, cases have to for hand, your watch. Hand enter that. So I don't know if we're going to do okay. that. Well, armor and cases for your watch are out. Well, I will do that research, uh, and Spec then next week when George is on. E C K. Okay. They do great covers okay. for your Macs. Um, so that's good. So there, there, there are some choices. Let me look this up real quickly. Okay. Spec uh, Apple Watch. Hmm, I could probably leave out the word. word. Yeah, spec Apple Watch cases. Let's see here. All right, quickly. Uh, f- did you find some? Ooh, oh, yeah. That. It's exactly what you want, isn't mm-hmm. it? The candy shell fit that. case for the Apple Watch. So spec has done it again. They do some great uh, cases. Um, and so this protects, if you have a stainless steel, would protect the, it's way the better side than against sock. scratching. Still have to leave that glass open. Although I, ma- I imagine you could put something... Uh, Something on that. Right. That's cool. Yeah. So spec would be one place uh, to get those, and apparently there are quite a few now. Mm-hmm. There's this product from Tough. Armor. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, very that's similar. What you have, the tough and that armor. has plastic uh, on the front of it. That still you can do the touch and everything. And you still have access to the crown. I like that. Hard polycarbonate layers fit seamlessly together for dual layer protection and style. Okay. All right. Well, Robert writes, I first learned about Periscope on iPad Today, uh, back when we used to do iPad well, Today. Well, we apologize to your friends, Robert. <laughs> he said, I think it's an iPhone app, but works fine on my iPad. I think you That's guys right. talked about that. Yep. Uh, but today's update, it does not seem to function properly on my iPad. Any ideas? Oh. I checked it. It was the same problem. You just couldn't see it. You know, it was one of, you know when you have it's that the, horizontal thing. Yes. And he said he, he discovered by double-clicking the home button, closing and restarting Periscope, the problem was solved. Uh, a workaround, yay! Yes, there is, but then uh, Robert talked to Periscope. He said this is a bug and it will be fixed. So Periscope is the live streaming app, uh, like Meerkat, if you've heard of that, where you can just turn on your iPad or your iPhone and suddenly stream. And this is the one that Twitter makes. Yes. Me- Meerkat is a third party. So he was just looking at watching other people's Periscopes, yeah. and you couldn't. I've see. used Meerkat on. Oh, he, oh, he didn't mean. Streaming, he meant watching. I think watching, watching yeah. yeah. Just you can't see the yeah. whole screen. And Meerkat seems to use the horizontal, the, the landscape yeah. screen, I think, as I remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does that, is it, what happens when you op- when open it? When I open the Periscope, look? well, it's is in the iPhone mode. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm going to have to uh, log into my Periscope. Oh, my Let's see if it, it'll do that. Sign up Let's with Twitter, happened. access my account. Yeah, use, this is one of the nice things, by the way, that... Um, Apple does. It makes it so easy. I don't have to re-log in to Twitter. Do I want notifications? No, I do not. By the way, strong advice. Do not turn on Periscope notifications. They'll drive yeah, you nuts. That would, yeah. So it looks like it might be fixed because you're not having the same problem. Well, I'm watching it horizontal. I mean, uh, you know, in portrait mode. Mm-hmm. So she's going to do a piano recital. What happens if I if I turn her sideways? Yeah, I think you can. Absolutely nothing. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you have to watch. But, that, you know, I talked about this with Ben Rubin, who's the founder of Meerkat. And he said, well, if you think about it, um, Meerkat and uh, Periscope 2 are mostly for phones. And it's kind of natural to shoot video on a phone in the kind of the native way. And if you're watching on a phone, it's kind of natural to look at it that way. So I've never been really against the idea of uh, of vertical video anyway. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm one of the few. A lot of people hate vertical video. And a lot of apps, remember I showed you uh, um, Lisa Bettany's new video app. V. Right. When you start shooting video in V, in the in the portrait mode, and I'll show you here. 
it says, mm, yeah, it says no. You don't really want to do that. No. We know, we know you better. We, than we think you that so. you probably don't want to shoot it this way. That's going to let me, though, which is, which but is it's, nice. It made but a it really suggestion. wants it to be that way. It's yeah. not going to force you to do anything. Yeah. Just yeah. a suggestion. Okay, so now um, should we do, talk about a few products? I uh, got my Pebble watch. Oh, which, I'm excited. You got yes. the time already? I got the Pebble time. So Here you must have kickstarted I, Yeah, you can see I was a Kickstarter backer. You can oh, you see can get a little special back. Lo logo yes, on the back. Yes, I don't know if you can see that. See, ooh, Kickstarter backer. That's nice. And you kicked in 200 bucks for that? Uh, you did, yeah. <laughs> Nice of, nice of you. I okay. So here's the thing. I really wanted it. I bought it. We'll you know we'll discuss whether you know. If you keep it, you pay for okay. it. But if you don't want it, I guess I own it. Okay, great. Sounds perfect. <laughs> uh, I ordered it because I really wanted the Apple Watch, but it was months and months before you All could right. even order the Apple Watch. Well, I'm actually really glad you got it. I want you to review it, and before you buy, we'll review it here mm -hmm. because uh, it is the one watch that works on iOS and Android. So it's cross-platform, mm -hmm. and of course, Pebble practically created this category on Kickstarter with their first one. The Time raised ten million dollars on Kickstarter. Yeah, it was so fast. So and it's, yeah. it's now it's this e-paper technology mm -hmm. still, which so means you're not it's touching great it. You know, life. yeah, you're not. There's not everything's there's no on touch. the buttons on the side. I am still. Uh, you haven't set it up yet. I have not set it up yet. I got to pair it with the phone. There's the iPhone see, app. Let me see the screen though. I mean, it looks like it's that's nice. A, that's one of the advantages of the e-paper is uh, it's very crisp and legible, isn't it? And the battery is really long, yeah. so you, I could sleep in this with no worries. You can. You could. It goes a week, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And you want to pair it? I do want to pair it, and I was having some trouble before. You got the app. It yes. has your name on it. By I know. The way. So I think you know what? Here's what happened. I think I paired it already, but it still wants me to pair it, and I can't get past the yeah. other pairing screen. Polly so. want a pebble? Yeah. So um, we should. So there it is. It asks me to pair, even though it already says Megan Maroney on it. It says continue, it says select an accessory, and it should really see it, don't you think? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. We're kind of, it's still, I'm still in the Get Pebble app thing. Yeah. I can't get out of that. I know. So I don't know why this Maybe is what broke. I was struggling with this morning. Done, then you're paying for it. Broke. Um, so I guess here's I the, own it. <laughs> just here's the charger. <laughs> it was 179 now. And, you know, I should probably pay for it myself because then I would be a better judge of whether I like it or not, you know, because. No, 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 no. I'll pay for it. But I do want you to review it. it if it was 179 because you bought it on Kickstarter, it's now $200. Yes. Yeah, so here and you is. They are taking pre orders now without uh, going to Here's on how it charges USB. Yeah. All right. Um, and it's cute, right? Somebody says it looks like a kid's toy. Well, I can. I, that's Kinda part of does. why I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Come on, look at that. That looks But like, it took a long this time. This looks like a watch. Thing. I thought, yeah, yeah let's yeah. Yeah. Like, Where is here, it? Here. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> no more watch here. struggles. Well, it is, uh, yeah, it does, It compared to the Apple Watch, it for sure does look like. not as pretty. Not like, as pretty. Um, the screen, yeah. yeah. Not as pretty, but, you know, it's. I think we have to reboot it. That's I think we have to start over. Okay. Here. Let me you play can with it. it. Well, actually, before I play with it, can I show you? We talked yes, last week about we, the Spire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had a bad experience. Your Spire came DOA. Mine did not. Uh, and, it, and it actually works. The only question is, is it something you would want? So let me right. just show you and real quickly. And at the price, too. I think the price is a little high. It's, it's like what, 179 Yeah. Two seven, two, 179 179 So... It has. To, it's a weird idea, kind of like the original Fitbit. Let me get it off my belt. And it, it's uh, the thing is, it's um, it's a clip. One forty nine ninety five. One forty. Well, that's not that bad. It's a clip, and it looks like a pedometer. In fact, mm -hmm. it does act as a pedometer. It keeps track of steps. Where is it? There it is. Um, but the and this is kind of a soft touch, mm -hmm. uh, rubberized thing, that and that's good because skin. that has to go against your belly, because it's going to measure. Get this. Not only footsteps, but breathing. So this clip is facing out. I'm gonna put it on my belt buckle right now. They say for guys uh, or people who wear pants, mm -hmm. that could be anybody nowadays. Right. Times have really changed. <laughs> These days, I mean, just recently, women were allowed to wear pants. That's I mean, amazing. In California, I don't know where you is live. Is that the new law? <laughs> I was wondering why I was seeing all these gals in pants. But anyway, women can wear it on their people, chest. Oh, sorry. For people who wear pants, I'm not even gonna say men or women. For people who wear pants, you put it on your first, r roughly around your first mm -hmm. belt loop. For people who wear brassiers, mm -hmm. you could put it in your uh, bra, yeah. or you could put it in your uh, armpit. But I think it would probably, I think one of the reasons you had trouble is, how does it know you're breathing there? Right. Well, I didn't try it in my armpit. I tried it in my bra, and um, it would know that I was breathing, but my problem, I didn't know what to do with that data. You know, it was just... Well, that's because you need the Spire app. So let me launch it, and by the way, it's on the iPhone. And if you look at the app, you can see, it sees my breathing. So let me breathe in. <sighs> Whoops. What's going Oh, there it is. There's, watch that graph, okay? <sighs> 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 
So it really does. That works. It is measuring my breathing. It'll show. It shows what you've how been How much like time the... you've spent focusing, how much mm -hmm. time you've spent active. Uh, and, and it shows streaks. So that I had a four-minute focus streak. Focus is like steady breathing, but not calm breathing. There's focus. There's activity. That's like. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then uh, you don't see. I, and there's tense. That's really right. and, uh, six was minutes I, of tension. What was I talking about then? This was during uh, triangulation. Mm. So that makes sense. Yeah. And then activity coming to triangulation. And so that's me getting in the car and all of that. But you, you notice there's not much calm there. And oh. so this is the idea of it, is they say your life is like a lotus petal, three different petals. There's calm, there, whoops, there's activity, and by the way, you set goals on, all, on, on each of these, and there's um, focus, where you're, you're doing something focused, and you kind of want it to be an equal measure. So you can see today I've had 11 minutes, uh, th uh, three streaks uh, in, in activity, 453 steps, 1,185 calories. So it works fine as a pedometer. I've had 27 minutes of focus, whoops, in eight different streaks, and I feel like that's accurate. Now, what's sad is I've had zero calm. Yeah, when I did it on 612, I had three minutes of calm. On so June calm is deep breathing, and so the idea of this is it will give you a notification saying, you know, it's been a while. You need to relax. And that's why that's how they're selling this. You right. and I both saw the ad on Facebook. They're selling it as, you know, it's a good idea. The one they say the one autonomic nervous function that we can actually control. You can't control your heartbeat. You can't control your thoughts. Your thoughts. I know I can. But you can control your breathing. And in fact, you can. And anybody who's uh, do, you know done any meditation or yoga knows if you breathe in, count of three, hold it for count of three, breathe out for count of three, do that 10 times, it's calming. Mm -hmm. And so that's what this is all about. Right, my, my calm street was 12.9 breaths per minute. That's good, right? I guess that's so. Every yeah. five seconds, mm -hmm. that's good. So this is very helpful, I think, in that regard. You can set the uh, alerts, it'll give you an idea of your tension. You know, I, my, I guess my only question is, is, I mean, it certainly works, you can see if I go to the front page, you can see me breathing. I, I know I'm breathing. Right. And I know it's measuring that accurately. That's that graph. <sighs> nope, it's making, I know who's not happy is my iPad. <sighs> so I know it's measuring that, right? Right. Um, I'm not sure if I understand what it thinks of as focus, what it thinks of as activity. And what it thinks of as calm, it does, and or what it thinks of as tense. Although these do match up fairly well to the things I've done today and yesterday and the day before. Steps are accurate. I would, I'll, 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 they absolutely are accurate. And then it gives you some recommendations for things you could do. You, in fact, you could even from this uh, do some guidance. Here's guidance for calm, focus, energize. If you want to, and a guided meditation. So you can actually go through. It's downloading this from the net. You can go through a quick uh, guided meditation. Here's guidance to reach calm. Are you ready? Are you ready mm -hmm. to be calm? Oh, I have to plug in the sound. This is the Spire gadget. Well, they've wrapped this around, and I'm getting <laughs> tense right now because I can't get access to this. All right, here we go. So, uh, 150. 150. There we go. And they were really nice. Um, when my first one didn't work, and they sent I me the other one. I think you said a bad one. This is brand new. This just came out. Mm -hmm. And it's it has a charger, as you it's showed last week, that you can just set it on and you can charge your phone from it, too. <sighs> did you have trouble did you remembering to charge it every night? Did you have to charge you don't, it? First of all, you don't have to charge it every night. It's like a Fitbit. It goes about a week. It uses Qi charging, so anything you have that does wireless Qi charging will work just fine. Um, so it, you sleep with it and everything? I did not sleep with it. No. Uh, I prefer to sleep alone. But... Uh, I will tonight. I'll sleep with it and I'll let you know. Okay. I, don't, I don't feel like that's a good thing to sleep with. It's a little thing yeah. jab in your gut. So you just take it off and sit it on your bedside table and pick yeah. it back up, and you, but you yeah. don't have to charge it all night. You don't have no, to. No, you charge it every few days. Okay. It's easy to charge if you want to charge it. Right. it comes with a, I showed you yesterday, uh, last, last week, week mm -hmm. a beautiful little cork charger, which is a Qi charger, but I have many Qi chargers, and it'll work with any just, of those. Your whole well. house is a Qi charger. Yeah. And you know, I've, I've used this for several days, and, the, and you can see the battery is, uh, well, it's about. Uh, 70 percent 60 or 70 percent so I think we're gonna get we're gonna get about six days out of yeah. this without any trouble well I think with all wearables it's interesting I think just um, if you forget to put it back on it kind of says how you feel about it in my opinion like I never forget to put my watch back on 
Spire, S-P-I-R-E, just like respire, mm -hmm. spire.io, measures your breathing and your steps. And I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to keep disagree. wearing it. Okay. I'm going to wear it when I go to Europe to see if I'm more calm. I won't. All right. I bet you will not be. sure. I, I'm not sure I'm recommending it. I, I think, but I think it, it, from my description, we'll you'll know whether it's something you want. Yes, keep right? watching it. Yeah. We're going to keep watching it. Yeah. All right, um, we have another sponsor. We do. We have wonderful sponsors. And, of course, uh, one of our sponsors has been with us absolutely the longest. In fact, you know, I, I, I've been reading articles about podcasting that, that point out that Squarespace buys a lot of podcasts. Folks, we started this. We were the mm -hmm. first podcast they advertised on. We put Squarespace, I think we helped put Squarespace on the map, and I'm so proud of the relationship we have with Squarespace. They've been so supportive of all of our stuff. Squarespace.com, it's the best hosting ever. And you know that because we try to break sites using Squarespace mm -hmm. every time, and you just can't do it. But it's also one of the reasons it's such great hosting. It's also great software running on top of the hosting. And the Squarespace software you will love, that's what you're going to experience. It lets you design a professional looking website, a blog, a, a store if you're a band, a great site for your band where you can not only sell your music, you can show your concert schedules, have great images of the band. Squarespace is amazing. Beautiful websites. Every one of them mobile responsive. Uh, believe me, I know how important that is. More than half of our audience now comes to us on a phone or a tablet. Your site's probably the same. You need to pay attention to that. And the beauty of Squarespace is your Squarespace site looks great on anything. From a three and a half inch Blackberry to a uh, 27 inch monitor to a 55 inch big screen TV. If you're a photographer, that's really important. Or an artist, that's really important. Incredible 24 seven customer support. You totally can do it yourself, although they have a developer platform. Uh, I know a lot of people who make their living designing Squarespace sites. It's robust, it's reliable, and it's beautiful. Every site comes with e-commerce, so you have the capability of selling uh, or taking donations on any Squarespace site. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. You can try it for free anytime, no credit card necessary, by going to squarespace.com and pressing the Get Started button. Here's something cool. If you do that before June 30th and then sign up for the, for the uh, business or professional plan, you'll get a free year of custom email and business tools. Isn't that nice? Squarespace.com. Try it out today and be sure you use the uh, offer code IOS today and you'll get 10% off and of course show your support for the show. We've been with Squarespace since practically the beginning. We love Squarespace. We know you. <laughs> we know you will too. Squarespace.com. And don't forget to use the offer code IOS today when you buy for 10% off. I know what you're up to. Oh. Mini Pearl. Not, I'm not trying to rush you. I just love wearing hats. It's time for our app cap. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I blind you? <laughs> my eye out. I actually want to go to Europe with Lisa, and I thought that was one way to do it. Yeah, just blind me. <laughs> this is a obviously never been worn and um, attractive. It is. It First fits word you that perfectly. Leaps to mind. I look like a, a, a demented railway engineer. <laughs> Uh, we wear these caps for one reason and one, one reason only. And it's only, a good reason. To humiliate Leo. <laughs> no, to celebrate a great application. We call yes. it our app cap mm -hmm. award. What do you got? Mm -hmm. uh, well, you've heard of Waze, the navigation app that yeah, was bought I by love Google. Waze. Well, yeah. uh, in the last few weeks, they had an excellent addition, and that is instead of listening to the annoying computer voice that says turn left on Main Street, you can now have Arnold Schwarzenegger talk to you. What? Yes. The governor? The governor. Uh, so Waze... Uh, the ex-governor. The ex The governor. Well, he's back. Now are, he's the governor. You, are you going to go see Terminator Genesis? Are you excited about the new Terminator I, uh, movie? I am pretty excited about yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Um, so I know... Uh, Hello. Looks like we, now, we might have frozen here. Does he here. say... No, it just takes a while to load. Okay. He says, is it time for you to turn back? I... I uh, you'll yeah. turn he around, he baby. Says, uh, he says, like, turn left. I insist. <laughs> uh, he does. Oh, oh what uh, happened there? What um, happened there? I it's, don't uh, I have no idea. It sounds like iOS is, um, is making you uh, do something again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. So I drove up to Tahoe this weekend there you and go. used. Uh, where should we go? Resume drive, you let's, little curly man. Where should we? Where do you want to go? Let's go to the White House. Sixteen hundred. Pe oh, we can go. To, we can go somewhere else. I, I Los don't Angeles. Know. Let's, let's go, go to Mexico Angeles. City. Los Angeles. No, okay. that's where the gubernator is. Right. Let's go yeah. see him. Let's take I five south oh. in oh. five hundred well, feet. So turn left on Western Avenue. The, you got to go to the so settings. It's the, that's the normal ways, lady. Mm -hmm. 
the sound. Voice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Voice, voice language. language. We have and English and we have Arnold. Terminator Genesis. <laughs> so it is, yeah. Uh, okay. Now, Arnold only spent an hour in the, uh, in the recording studio to make this voice, so he's not going to read street names to you. He's probably he's, no, not even he's not going to read street Los names. Angeles. No, he doesn't. He says turn left. So if you really feel like you need the zero point one miles, turn right, and then turn left. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. He's not going to do anymore because we're, I like know, it. Not going anywhere unless I. Actually that was one of the great things. Remember the TomTom Tom GPS devices? They let mm -hmm. you use anybody's voice, mm -hmm. and there were. I had a Dennis Hopper voice. Oh. For a long time. Mm -hmm. And then I had GLaDOS from the Portal game, but she would lie to you. She would say to turn right when you were supposed to turn left, oh. so you'd have to always interpret it. I like it. Yeah, I Arnold want the does gubernator. Not, he does not no, lie. He does not lie. So it I'm looked like there were maybe some other voices you can get through the what settings, What else can too. you get now? What else? Voice The nice language. thing about Waze. Colonel uh, Sanders. Oh, Elvis? Wow. Who is Vlade Divac? Who is Vlade Divac? I don't know. He must be famous in uh, his native land of... Uh, Croatia. I don't know. From the Sacramento Kings. Oh, he's from the Kings. Of course. So if, you, <laughs> if you like basketball, yeah. you'll love. Wow. Yeah, so there's all kinds of voices, which is, you know, it's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leandro Barbosa languages. from the uh, Warriors. I, 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 maybe I'd rather have Stephen Curry, but okay. Hey, Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Who do you think Nathan is? Just some guy. Randy, Nathan. You got boy Samantha. band? Yeah. Let's hear boy band. Okay. Can we go on a trip with the boy band? Yes, we can. So Waze, the best thing about Waze is it gives you traffic information and yes. will reroute you quite accurately, save you time. So oh. where should we go? Where should we go? We should go somewhere. Mexico um, City. Okay. All right. What does the boy band say? Uh, we can only provide 1,000 miles. Let's... We'll get a new route then. Okay. Let's go to Let's go Los back. Angeles. That's within 1,000 miles. Let's just keep miles. going to Los Angeles. All right. Uh, it'll also tell you if there's an accident. It'll tell In you... 0 0.1 miles... Turn right and then turn left. That would be extremely annoying. I, I wish After that I'd listened while, to this. Yeah. That was boy band. Yeah, that was great. So yeah, it, it, it'll Waze tell you free. if there are police. Yes, it is free, and you, you, you know it's it, it does use Google. data, so right. you should yes. remember that. Uh, you know what I'm doing is uh, there's another map app. I'll throw in an app cap for oh, you. Oh, really? An extra? From Nokia called Here. Do you know oh, about yes, Here? yes, I've heard of Here. And one of the good things about Here, and it's one of the reasons I'm taking it with me as I travel, is it doesn't use doesn't have to use data. Uh -oh. So you, you don't get traffic information with that data, but you can download the maps ahead of time. So I've downloaded Germany, Austria, Hungary, and the Netherlands. Oh. So as we travel in the boat without using data, it will use the GPS, but it doesn't need to download any map information. It's already on my device. I'll be able to see where we are, see what the points of interest right. are, and even navigate. Hey, Captain, turn left here! They really like that. They now, love it when you do that. Waze, I don't know if has an Apple Watch app. I don't think they do. Which is too bad. You could have them singing to you. But I do like using maps on my watch, don't you? When it taps I love it. you when you turn. I love it. Yeah. What's your app cap? Uh, this is a game that Steve Gibson uh, t uh, told me about. And curse you, Steve. Curse you. Because it is a very difficult game. You might think it kind of looks a little bit like Tetris. It's called Block Wick. Ooh, now, I loved Tetris. Uh, well... Your Tetris skills might come in handy here. It also looks a little bit like a game that maybe some of you uh, remember called Sokoban, which was the idea was you were a warehouse master pushing boxes around or rearrange them. I'll start with an easy one. This is chapter one, board one, just to get the idea here. Our goal is to get these two blue pieces to touch one another. See, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, that wasn't hard. But it gets hard really, really quickly. We can slide things around. We can move things around. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it's funny. It doesn't time you, so you can cal you can be calm. We should see what your spire says when you play this game. Yeah, yeah, because it, in fact, it's got somewhat calming music. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh, uh, oh, oh, let's, oh. So you can see there's a little bit. Oh, and by the way, on each level, there's a pearl. You want to collect oh. those pearls i'm not sure why but uh, mysterious the moon fun. pearl mysterious moon pearl so this is fun so i went through uh i didn't obviously do it here i would do it on my uh, my phone because it's on ios as well all 20 of the first chapter and okay you can see it it gets a little bit more difficult but I, yeah i solved that one and uh and then i went to, to the next chapter chapter two there's six of them in the game and I got almost to the very end, and I got to, nope, not that one, number 19 on chapter two. 
and I have not been able to get past no. it. You can go to YouTube, and I did watch a solve Cheat. solution video. I did. Still can't solve it. Interesting. I got to... <laughs> did you ask Steve Gibson? Oh, I'm sure Steve solved it. He's moved on. Do you think on. he would tell you? Yeah, he, are, he did. He said, yeah, you just slide this stuff around, and you'll be able to do it. It's like, oh, come on, Steve. This is... John, John, have you solved this? You solved this one? Yeah. Uh, by just moving stuff around a lot. This guy this, would be up here. This guy <laughs> goes up there. Ah, all right. So I need to get some, make some room here to get this little guy. Because, yeah, because there's no way you can get this blue guy past that guy. So you've got to figure out... I'm going to get these guys over here. Let's get some of these guys out of here. Uh, what you think? I'm, am I? I mean, am I, is it over already? Well, yeah, you can't take these guys over here. They, they won't fit. Oh man, yeah, you can't fit this guy. Anyway, Blockwick, it is a lot of fun. You're gonna hate me for telling you about it because it can also be just a little bit frustrating. Mm. Just a tiny, teensy, weensy bit, a little bit annoying. All right, now. Now what, John? Get this one up there. Get this one up there. Okay, now just pile it all in here. Huh? This one over here? Is this fun? To Is this fun? Ask my spire if I'm having I know, a good I do, time. I do want to know what your spire says. My spire says I'm in a period of constant stress and focus at yeah. the same time. It's not even possible. You should be dead right now is what my spire says. Anyway, you can you can see you got to make these five red ones touch each other. I call them Jolly Ranchers, and you got to get the two blue ones to touch each other. I call them uh, Joe. And uh, anyway, good luck to you if you get to chapter two, number nineteen. Send me a note. It's really it's all fun and games right at that point. It is. It's what, what does your Spire say? I'm interested. Does it record that? And the Spire has an Apple Watch app. Did we also... Oh, I didn't mention that. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So yeah. I can also see how I'm breathing mm -hmm. on my Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. Let's just see uh, Let's just see how I'm doing. It says I'm tense. Yeah. I yeah, just a little bit tense. me at all. Considerably tense. I went through nine minutes of tenseness and three minutes of focus. Part of that was when I was talking. <laughs> Part of that was when you poked my eye out. With <laughs> yeah, that's the... true. That... <laughs> yes. Uh, well, if you want to subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode, you can go to our brand new website, twit.tv slash iPad. How do you like today. the new site? You like I it? love it. I you love the have, pictures. You can, you can be honest. Do you like you, it? I do like it. Um, I love I it. I love it. I like how visual it is. It's I like pretty, all the photos. and pictures. You can subscribe to audio video or video. Um, right the download there. buttons are working now. We yep. made a, I mm -hmm. made a little tactical error mm -hmm. at first. Look at that. I know. We need a picture of us. Well, together. I want to change. These are the, we call them the hero images. We're mm -hmm. going to change these regularly. Right? right. So it could be a variety. It could be a picture of you and me in our hat. It John, would you picture. take a picture of mm -hmm. you, of uh, Megan and me in the hat right now, and we'll put that on the, on the site. Yes. Yeah. So and then all the shows are there. All they're all there. Some Even people have said, you know, why do you just say iOS today in the number of the show? Shouldn't you say a little bit more? We don't have a lot of room there. We don't have a lot of room there. And this is a very mobile responsive, so we don't want to have too much stuff because mm -hmm. we want you to be able to look at it on a small screen. Yes. But uh, I understand the issue. If you do tap that, you'll see a whole show page that'll have show notes and exposition, the name of the show. It'll give all you a much details, better idea of what you're getting if you download yes. that show. Mm -hmm. All the... So, cases that we mm -hmm. showed, all those things. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can also email us. Can you? Mm -hmm. How you can modern. email us. Uh, at, how do they email us? <laughs> you don't know? No. <laughs> iOS today at twit.tv. And you. please go to our subreddit. I think I mentioned it before. Reddit.com slash r slash iOS, iOS today. Uh, and you can even call us at 757-504. <laughs> iPad. I P A D. I know. iPad. Maybe we'll switch it someday. Are you smiling for the photo? <laughs> <laughs> so Thanks. yeah, thank you for joining us. And you can always watch live. We start around twelve thirty Pacific time. And if you if you're there at that time. At that time. <laughs> you can see you can, you, us, us prepare. prepare. And, and I can just, I can go, just on. go on. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on iOS Today.